Tim Goodwin, the Marion local Flyers, have won 30 straight, 36 straight games, all 14 this year coming in dominant fashion. The last time that Marion local lost to a non-MAC opponent was week one, 2011. They went on to win the state title that year, and the year after, and the year after, and now they're one victory away from a four-peat. Matt Finkel has more with the Flyers as they try to raise the gold trophy for a fourth consecutive time. The Marion local seniors have already accomplished so much and it's fitting for this group to be playing in one last state final. I'm with some incredible guys. We've been together for the beginning all the way and we get each other better and stronger every day. It's very exciting. I'm pumped. We get to play at the house state. Just looking forward to it and bring home a state championship. Obviously, it's a lot of fun. Uh, as a coach, you know, it's fun to watch a team progress. And, you know, when you get in a tournament situation, the playoffs, uh, you know, the, as you go on, the, the team just gets closer and closer. You know, you're just around each other so much. Uh, it's fun to, fun to see. The Flyers have been fortunate to have a routine at state championship games in years past, but this year it's a little different thanks to the venue change. It's a great feeling playing at the shoe. It's, it's a, like a dream come true just being on the same field of legends. I mean, it's really added, you know, some extra um, pep, I think, to the whole community. You know, just a different location. You know, you're, you're at a, a story facility. Marion Local has cruised through the postseason. The defense has allowed just 14 points so far. And Tim Goodwin is preparing for some new looks from 13-1 Norwalk St. Paul. This week is a different week for us. Uh, St. Paul runs a, a different style. It's kind of a throwback style. Um, you know, they're, they're just totally committed to running the ball. They're going to get in double tight, a lot of compressed formations, and just pound straight ahead. And, uh, you know, we don't see that a whole lot. So it, it's going to be a different mindset. Well, defensively, we just got to be really physical. We got to play low, and we got to hit them. Uh, we got to win first down. A victory tomorrow morning would be four in a row for the blue and yellow. Dynasty aside, it would be very special for this group to be crowned the best Division 7 football team in the state of Ohio. It's my last game I'm ever going to play, and I'm going to give it all I got and hopefully come out with a victory. It means a lot. I mean, I've been with the seniors for a long time. We basically know each other. We grew up with each other, and I like to bring home the gold alongside them. Each year is different, and each group of kids has have their own makeup and their own character, and you know, somebody asked me before, you know, what's the strength of your team? And I think it's just the kids, you know, and what am, what am I most proud of? I'm most proud of how these kids are and, and what, what kind of adults they're going to grow into be. With the Flyers, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.